Well, well, well. We made it. Playoffs are inbound now. We got the matchup set. And, you know, kind of disappointed, man. The Suns, how do you go 8 0 and not even get a chance to do the play in? Like, like look at the Grizzlies. Now, they went like what two and two and eight, two and eight, and they're like, all right, you know, they they jumped in. And the Trailblazers, I don't, what are was even the record? I think they lost like what they went five and three. I'm like, oh, okay. I mean, they didn't make it a chance. I'm like, okay, whatever. Whatever. I mean, just by looking at the Blazers, like. Just by watching the Blazers and the Grizzlies, I, yeah, I gotta say, like, dude, like the Blazers, like, wow, like you really, really close game. Like, I'm like, they've been playing like, so close, so much close games just to make it to the A spot. And I'm like, man, all that just to play the, against the Lakers. So you know. <laughs> First round, Lakers versus Portland. Now a lot of people right now are, are kind of like hyped, like oh, you know, like Portland, Portland, you know, a chance and stuff, you know, to upset the Lakers. Look, I got, I gotta say, to the Lakers, they should sweep the Blazers. Like, what? Why I say should. I think they will sweep them just based off the Portland trailer trailblazers play as of late. Like maybe I'll give them like, you know, one game, you know, be, you know, game five will be over, but I think they sweep the Portland trailblazers. Like, like, come on, man. Like just by looking at Portland, like these couple of games, like, like they really played to their competition. Like, come on, man. Like the fact that they're strong against the nets and they're, they were struggling against the Grizzlies. Like, just the other teams. Well, who else did they beat? I'm just thinking, like, who else did they beat? Mavericks? Like, dude, like, every game was so close. They really played their competition. Like, they make it close. Now, I don't know if it's, you know, they're winning based off of, you know, veteran presence team. You know, they're ba they're battle-tested. They've been through this kind of situations and stuff. And then you got the little ref ball, you have to admit. A lot of ref ball going on, you know, especially with the Dallas Maverick game. And especially in the Grizzlies game, right? You have to admit, I mean, the despair, this, this disparity of the free throw attempts between those two teams in the fourth quarter, you got to admit, there was a little ref ball in hand. And, you know, the Trailblazers have been pretty lucky as well. So it's all a mixture of both, right? They've been beating teams that, that, you know, based off their talent, they should beat them. I mean, yeah, you know, you got, you got CJ with a broken back. You got, you know, yeah, some people. And I, I mean, what, what do you got left for the Lakers? I got a lot left. Uh, the good Lord has taken back. I broke my back. Spinal. <laughs> I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You broke my back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Contributing. I mean, I mean, they tighten up the rotation. I'm looking at what Terry Stotts is doing right now. Like, you know, he's not even playing like Anthony Simons a lot anymore. He's not even playing like certain players. And you know, for all that work the Portland Trailblazers done, you know, they had yes, they have. Dame dropping like 60, 50, 40, all that stuff. Just for them to have a chance to win, right? Yeah, Nurk is like dropping 20 and 20. And like all these kind of, all these crazy stat lines, right? Gary Trent Jr., you know, do look like, a, like an evolved version of Patty Mills. Or Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu! It's Pokemon! Something, man. Like this dude was shooting like sixty-seven percent from three. I mean, this dude was just straight like fire from the from the bubble, right? All that stuff, like all these ridiculous stat stuff, 
just to barely win. Like you gotta think, right? Like, like man, like what? Like this Portland Trailblazers team is nothing to you know, not a problem, right? For the Lakers, I mean, just think about the Portland Trailblazers. They suck on defense. You know, they got they don't have a Riza there. They don't have like their players, like certain players. Right, I mean, I thought Zach Collins was a comeback and dramatically improved the defense. You know, I was wrong, right? I was wrong. Like their defense is still just as bad. I mean, they're letting players drive at them at will. Uh, you got John Morant, right? He just straight up just drove over and over and over again to get like thirty-five points. Right, yeah, Karis Levert, like he kept on driving over and over again. CJ, he's blowing past CJ, blowing past Dame and stuff. You know, same thing with Luka Doncic and stuff, just driving. Now he goes against the Lakers, right? The Lakers, you got LeBron James, who's better than all those three players I just mentioned, and he's gonna drive it in with Anthony Davis in the middle. So. Like people, like, I get the hype, you know. Obviously, like Neil you know, Dame, he's he was on fire right now. Bubble MVP. You get Melo and LeBron one more time, right? In theory, in theory, the Portland Trail Blazers match up with the Lakers very well. You know, dynamic. You know, backcourt. They have size to match up Anthony Davis and you know Dwight Howard and Javale McGee. You know, with Whiteside and Nurkic and Zach Collins, you know. You got LeBron James, you know, the super mismatch. They don't have anyone to guard LeBron James. I guess Gary Trent's going to guard him. Or Zach Collins. Who knows what's going to happen. And then, you know, the Portland Trailblazers, they're, 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 they're dual, right? They're backcourt. Lakers got you ain't got nobody to guard him. Yeah, you got Danny Green, you got, you know, you know, Contavious, you know, poop and stuff, but like, you know, you know, Casey Poop is an okay defender. They, they really need Avery Prowley in this, you know, in this uh, series to make it, you know, difficult on Dame, but you know. Portland Trailblazers, like in theory, stuff like that doesn't always work. Like, just because, like, in theory, like, you know, they match up well doesn't mean they're gonna match up well, right? You know, in theory, right? They have all that size. You look at the amount of rebounds that the Nets got over the, the Portland Trailblazers game, like, like, in one possession, I saw, like, just Jared Allen alone, right? He got the rebound, like offensive rebound, like three times. I'm thinking, like, like, what is the point of all that size? If you have Nurkic, Zach Collins, and White Side, and yet you still can't even secure the rebound, right? Like you would think, in theory, right? Like just about the mismatches that they produce. Like, you should be killing the Nets, but you didn't. Like, the Nets were, like, killing you guys. Like, Anthony Davis is going to feast on this Portland defense. Like, like, come on, man. Like, in theory, it doesn't work. Like, just by jumping back in theory with the Portland Trailblazers back then when they, when they matched against the Pelicans, like, like, they should. Like, everyone was picking them to win. Should they have won? In theory, they should have won, right? I mean, you just think about it. Like, you know, Drew Holiday, Anthony Davis, and company. Yeah, Dame was all that talk about, like, oh, you know, like, you know, they don't put respect on my name and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, fine then. You know, here you got a Pelicans team that was like, what is it? Like, they were eighth, I think. I think they were eighth. No, I think they were seven. And Portland was like second seed. I believe they were second seed. And is he second seed or third seed? And whatever is it. the Portland team got swept, right? They got locked down. 
just by Drew Holiday alone, they got locked down. And Anthony Davis averaged like 30 in like 13 night series or something. Right? And I think that was with Nurkic. So, I mean, we've seen what Anthony Davis can do against the Portland Trail Blazers, you know. LeBron James, he he needs there needs to be no logic applied air. Like he's gonna get his twenty five and seven and seven or whatever, easy, right? Now you know you can go back to in theory, right? In theory, the Lakers don't really have much scores as of late right now. I mean, yeah, you got you know you know Waiters Island and that idiot J.R. Smith on the team. And you're gonna think you know. In theory, those guys should give you like, you know, at least 12 points, right? But those low IQ players are just chucking shots. They're just shot chuckers. So, you know, in theory, Portland can take advantage of that, you know, in theory. Like the Lakers, once LeBron sits, all hell goes, breaks loose, right? Because, you know, the team, the Laker team is built around LeBron. There is no additional playmaker besides Rondo. LeBron sits. It's just Kuzma and Anthony Davis just isoing you to death, basically. And if you double team them, they'll pass it to the shooter. And then they are Danny Green, Casey Poop, you know, Quinn Cook, whoever is open, they'll shoot three. It's basically it. It's basically that, right? Nothing special. I mean, the system for the Lakers is basically just LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Right? Built around perimeter play and, you know, a dominant big man inside, you know. As I alluded to before, like, you know, the modern day version of, you know, the Shaq and Kobe Lakers. Where it's, you know, Shaq, instead of the triangle with Shaq and Kobe, spread out three-point shooters. With Derek Fisher, Robert Ory, you know, Glenn Rice. You know, etc. It's built with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, two man perimeter play, while also having an inside dominant presence, spread out shooters, Quinn Cook, Danny Green, J.R. Smith, you know, Casey Poop, whatever. Right? In theory, like this should be a, a well played series, but you know, just I don't really have faith in this Portland team. Like, like this team is just too erratic to even give up that much of a fight. Sure, Dame could probably drop like 40, you know, 50, you name it, whatever is right. Like, at the end, it'll be like a losing performance because, I mean, the Lakers know how to win just by, you know, LeBron James' presence, right? Like, he knows how to control pace, everything. People are excited, like, oh, you know, you know, Portland Trailblazers, they could probably beat them in, what, six? The series going seven? Like, these, like, comments, I see it. You know, maybe they're kind of influenced by Chuck right now. His, uh, his, what, bet is going, they're going to the finals. All right, you know, he's had the Portland Trailblazers going to the finals for like the last five years, right? The Portland Trailblazers are getting to the finals. Okay. Dame Dog. Right. And as much, you know, as I as I like Damian Lillard, like, dude, Damian Lillard, I don't think will ever reach the finals unless he's traded to like another team. Maybe, you know, the Sixers or something where they trade Ben Simmons for him and then they go on the run in the East. Who knows, right? But it's not really looking that good for the Portland Trailblazers because, you know, in theory, you know, once you step on the court, you know, all that theory stuff gets out, you know, gets thrown out the window. Like, now you're getting played with, you know, real motions, you know, real plays in, in real time right now. You see how people react, like, dude, like, People want to say, oh, you know, just by looking at the Lakers' performance in the bubble, like their shooters haven't been consistent. Yeah, I guess so, you know, in a way. But, you know, once playoff time comes, there, there's the switch that happens. There's the switch where, you know, a lot of veteran presence on the team, 
LeBron James, you know, Danny Green. Who else has a veteran presence on that team? Um, you know, Dwight Howard, JaVale, you know, Anthony Davis. Like, they know, you know, playoff starts, you know, it's time to get a little bit serious now. Like, it seems like the Lakers are just, the Lakers have been fooling around, basically. They just haven't really been doing stuff. I mean, just by looking at their bubble stuff, they've been playing the rookie, whoever his name is. They've been letting waiters ISO, you know, every possession just to get them up to basketball, you know, shape. J.R. Smith just chucking it. Like, all right. Like, yeah, you know, the Lakers are real terrified of Portland. Now, did I want Portland to be the A spot? Of course, you know, I did because Portland, as of the three teams before them, you know, the Grizzlies and the Suns, like, they are, they will be the team that makes the the most competitive series in a way to the Lakers. Like, they have talent, they have veteran presence, you know, and stuff. Like, like if it was against, like, the Grizzlies and the Suns, I'm pretty sure they would sweep them as well. But, you know, it would have been an easier sweep. Like, this one, it's, you know, I'm just not really a believer in the Blazers. Like, in the Lakers, they'll find a way to win. Like, no problem at hand. I mean, you know, all that stuff that they've been doing just by you just a lot of red flags the Portland Trailblazers, you know, play. Like a lot of red flags. They're letting teams just blow past them and do all these things, defense. Like it's just like you would think that they will be a little bit more solid when it comes to all this, you know, volatility in their play. Like, just the consistency of defense and whatnot. And just like, ugh. Ugh. What am I watching? And I just, you know, anybody can drive in, it seems like. And, you know, we'll see. Maybe they play, you know, Whiteside and Nurkic at the same time. Just to match these, this front court. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see. But, you know, Lakers. Lakers are four. Lakers are four. Maybe five. I'll, I, I'll even give them five. Who knows? But I'll say Lakers are four. I think, you know, Dame time runs out in the first round. Ends on to, you know, the next round for the Lakers. 